And so, once again, innocent people are dying. And once again, the military war complex machine keeps on running its fine engine, making trillions of dollars a year. Just this Friday, the U.S. fired more than 118 missiles at Syria in coordinated response, they say, to suspected chemical weapons attack. Obviously, you know, this is all about geopolitics, uh, power plays, resource plays, and at the end of the day, what really matters, what the bottom line is, the almighty green dollar. And so, you know, they make these political statements saying, we know there's chemical gas, we know what's going on over there, we're going to protect the, it, we're going to protect the people of Syria. Like, like they really care about the people of Syria. They don't care about any human uh, any human citizen around the world. All they care about is, let's keep this ball rolling. We got to make money, sell weapons, and never, ever end this war. And it's a constant war. Last time it was Iraq. Uh, now it's Syria. And who lo who knows how long is it going to be Syria? Next it might be Iran. Then maybe it's going to go into, uh, who knows? It's never, ever ending. And if you do some basic mathematics, think about this. They sent 118 missiles in Syria on Friday. And on average... It's about like a million bucks or so per missile, give or take. They blew 100, I want to say they blew. Um, that's a contract they made. They made $165 million within 24 hours with these Tomahawk missiles. You know what they could have done with $165 million in the United States or around the world to stop poverty, uh, to help in the educational system, uh, for the most part, United States to help with, to help with the healthcare system. And so that's one day. And those are just tomahawks. That doesn't go into different ammunitions. It doesn't go into tanks. It doesn't go into other different military contracts, etc. This is the big, mean machine, which is a military war complex machine. It's ridiculous. And for people to think that, oh my God, Donald Trump came into power and Donald Trump is going to stop everything, rubbish, rubbish. At this point, I find it really difficult military complex machine to be stopped. Like, I don't know how this crazy monstro monstrosity will be stopped and so you have these like political dances around the world the left versus right liberal versus democratic uh trump versus hillary over here in canada you're gonna have uh trudeau versus i'm not too sure he's gonna run against him but at the end of the day they're all the same tell you the truth they're all the same in my mind they are going into legacy political systems that they can't really control or change. Or more or less, they're part of the legacy political systems. And there's big money to be made, especially in the military. Like if you look at this chart, around the world's about 1.5. And this is old. This is from eight years ago. So it's eight years outdated. So with inflation, everything probably an extra, maybe 15% or 20% on top of this. But global spending on military is about, let's say 1.5 to round it up. The United States <laughs> is pretty much taking half of that. They're taking $711 billion of that. $711 billion is spent on the military per year in the United States. So you know what you can do with $711 billion fucking dollars? You can solve a lot of problems for everybody. Solve the healthcare system solve our horrible, horrible government-funded educational system, which is definitely not working anymore. We can solve many, many issues in our society, but that doesn't make money, right? That doesn't create repeat customers. And so there you have it. Like this whole idea, when I hear people on social fucking media talking about their political stances on Syria, talking about their political stances on what's happening in geopolitics, I mean, do you guys understand at the end of the day, all of that is a, a hoax, a fucking hoax, you know, to us, we're considered, you know, to us, these these elitists, I don't even like the word elitist, but let's say like sociopathic, uh, capitalistic, I, I wouldn't even use that word. I, I like capitalism, but fair capitalism. They're more sociopath, man. Like at the end of the day, they're sociopaths. All they care about themselves, the bottom line dollar, and they're just murderers, man. It's fucked up if you really think about it. And so we have this like political dance and everybody gets like sucked up into it. And at the end of the day, nothing's really getting solved. And so, you know, the best thing to do, man, honestly, yeah, it's it's depressing for a lot of people. But I, I really believe the best thing to do is work on yourself. You know, one of my favorite poets is Rumi. He has a saying, yesterday I was clever, I want to change the world to them. Why do I want to change myself? So I think if we like start working on ourselves as much as possible, Hopefully that becomes like a good beacon of light for other people to start working on themselves. 
And I think, like, what honestly, sometimes I think what's going to be necessary to bring us together in civilization is going to be a black swan event or a global disaster where, just like from the fucking movies, a meteorite comes down. Or sometimes I wish an alien race can come down and be like, yo, motherfuckers, we're taking you over. And we're like, oh, shit, we got to get our fucking acts together. And so I'm optimistic for the future, even though this is, you know, bad news. We've been knowing about this for eons. Um... I think the future will be brighter, but I just want people not to get sucked up into geopolitics about United States being there to save Syria. Give me a fucking break. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Peace.